Welcome back to Living Local. Theater artists Michael Callahan and Dan Hoy created an original musical that premiered in the spring of 2022, and out of that experience, an important cultural nonprofit was created. And here to tell us all about that and their upcoming 10 minute musical workshop is Michael Callahan and Dan Hoy, Mr. H, if you will. Uh, having been my professor, I cannot call you Dan. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's talk about Aaron Power Musical Resources and how it came about. H how did that originate? We did a workshop production of our full-length musical in October 2019 and the feedback that we got from audience members, hey this has possibilities, mm -hmm. take it somewhere and from that we met with some area professionals uh, from Quad City Arts as well as the Visitors Bureau and others yeah. from Blackhawk College as a think tank and they said make a 501c3 to support this but we didn't want to just stop there. Yeah. We wanted to give back to the community, so we wanted to have residual funds, leftover money, if you will, sure. that we could plug back into the community to support new entry-level authors and composers of musicals from this area, from this That's region. That's awesome. And so out of that became this mission to help others create as well. So you created the 10-minute musical workshop. And so tell us about that, Michael, and, and when, when is that taking place? So we're going to have a 10-minute musical workshop on March 10th and March 11th, starting in the evening of Friday night from 7 to Excellent. 9 p.m. and then the next morning at 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and wow. during that time we're going to run people really quick and hold their hand as they create brand new 10 minute yeah. musicals and hopefully by the end of the day we'll be able to maybe perform a few of them or maybe even all of them will fit into the time that's awesome and um we're hoping people who are new to composing or new to yeah. creating join the group and get that yeah. taste because oftentimes we see musicals on the stage and i know a lot of people it's almost like magic to them how yeah. is that done yeah. well we're going to take you through the process yeah it looks easy but it's it's not at all yeah. uh so mr h tell us how how you know someone can sign up for this and what can they expect you know from the workshop itself well our partners uh, involve Blackhawk College PACE that's the professional and continuing education wing mm -hmm. of Blackhawk College so they would go to www.bhc uh, backslash PACE and they could go there they can see our specific description which is on page 27 of the online brochure or the paper uh, brochure for that schedule and everything they need to sign up there is a fifty dollar fee but they're sure. going to get all kinds of support during the workshop for that they're going to get more than a day's worth yeah. of instruction learning interaction making new friends musical theater friends in the quad cities sure and from the region so there are yeah. many benefits to it and we are going to be there to side coach them whether it's music whether it's writing yeah. the libretto uh, those sorts of lyrics and things yeah. dialogue we're going to be there to support them which is part of our mission yeah and you're both educators in the quad cities which mm -hmm. is you're, you're, you're both very very highly regarded now uh, Michael, can you tell me, you know, one of your highlights of your teaching career here in the Quad Cities? Um, there, there have been so many over yeah, the years. I bet. Um, I tell you, my favorite place always to be is at Genesius Guild, I think, over in Lincoln Park. Sure. Um, but one of the most recent highlights was music directing um, The Music Man. Oh, I had yeah. so many friends sure. and so many family members involved with that production, and everybody devoted to having a good yeah. time in presenting that beautiful work of theater. Yeah, I bet. And Dan, and likewise, uh, you know, what's one of your highlights uh, of your career here in the Quad Cities? As a teaching artist, I think even if you do visual or graphic arts, mm -hmm. there's something there that yeah. the spectator, the viewer, is going to take in, and something there that's going to reach them, it's if it doesn't educate them, it's certainly going to enlighten them. They're going to have a discovery in that moment. Yeah. And I think whenever we perform, uh, whether it's Circuit 21, mm -hmm. whether it's Music Guild, what have you, we are educating. We're yeah. bringing those moments of human discovery. So there's that, but also I've done some workshops uh, through my business, which is danact3.com. We uh, have work interacted with Seton School in some educational workshops. Great and some other schools and even work with students with special needs. That's awesome, that's awesome. So how, how oh, would you like to I see... I should say, and I had a few yes. students uh, at Black Hawk College who were very talented. <laughs> yeah, very sure, talented. thank you for that. I was lucky thank for you. that, that teaching for that. gig, yeah, very absolutely. lucky. Yeah. Uh, and we were lucky to have you as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so the other thing is, you know, what do you hope is the future for this, this not-for-profit? What do you guys want to get out of this in the community? 
Um, we want to reach out to the creators in this community and start them thinking along the lines of developing musicals. Sure. With that, we would like to take like this 10 minute workshop and mm -hmm. eventually develop a 10 minute musical showcase in the Quad right. Cities, hopefully within the next year, w place where some of these people can take mm -hmm. uh, their 10 minute musicals or put the challenge out to other creators in the area to create a 10 minute musical and be part of a 10 minute musical showcase. Yeah. We're also looking at going into the schools and working with kids and showing them taking their hand yeah. and leading a class through developing a musical that is meaningful to them is something they want to show. Yeah, I love it. You guys, it's such a great uh, thing that you're offering and especially to younger creatives in town that you know a lot of people aren't. So thank you for your work and that's awesome that you're you know, supporting new works. We love that. So, Michael, Dan, thank you so much for being here. I thank really you for having us. It. Yes. Yeah. For more information, you can check out danact3.com on Facebook, or you can sign up for the class by visiting bhc.edu slash pace.